Baltimore Key Bridge Collapse, One Body Pulled from River as Rescuers Continue Search for Survivors One body was reportedly recovered from the river as members of a construction crew are still missing hours after a huge cargo ship slammed into Baltimore's Key Bridge, causing it to dramatically collapse into the water within a matter of seconds. City Council member Felicia Porter told CNN that a body had been found in the Patapsco River, but no authorities have confirmed this point two others who had fallen into the water were rescued. At least six people are believed to be unaccounted for, authorities said. They are believed to be members of a construction crew employed by Bronner Builders that were working on refilling potholes when the incident occurred. Bronner Builders employee Jesus Campos told the Baltimore Banner that the still missing individuals are all men in their 30s and 40s who have children and spouses. They are from El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras and Mexico, he added. They are all hardworking, humble men, Mr. Campos told the outlet. Still, the search is still active, authorities said on Tuesday afternoon. Multiple workers and vehicles were on the Francis Scott Key Bridge over the Patapsco River when the Dolly vessel plowed into a support pillar at around 1.30 a.m. Eastern Time on Tuesday. The crew made a mayday call just moments before the collision. Maryland Gov Westmore added that the call saved lives, providing time to prevent cars from continuing on the bridge. The crew warned the Maryland Department of Transportation that an elision with the bridge was possible, the report said. The vessel struck the bridge causing a complete collapse. It's still unclear what caused the accident. But the ship was just 30 minutes after setting sail on its 27-day journey to Sri Lanka. As of Tuesday early afternoon, just two people people had so far been pulled from the waters, Baltimore police said. One of those victims is now fighting for their life in hospital after being rushed to a trauma unit in serious condition. The second person was not injured and refused medical help, police said. Now, multiple agencies are in a race against time to rescue at least seven people believed to be in the water, with temperatures plunging to around 30 degrees Fahrenheit minus 1 degree Celsius at the time of the incident. The number of those unaccounted for could climb higher as sonar has detected multiple vehicles submerged in the frigid river while officials have learned that workers were also on the bridge at the time of the crash. At the press conference, James Wallace, the fire chief from the Baltimore City Fire Department, said the search involves a very large incident and large footprint. As well as the cold temperatures, search teams are also grappling with darkness and a large debris field to try and search for people who would have now been in the water for an extended period of time. Chief Wallace told CNN that agencies found three passenger vehicles, a cement truck and another vehicle submerged in the water using infrared and side-scan sonar technology. Govmore declared a state of emergency, adding that he is working with an interagency team to deploy federal resources. Kevin Cartwright, director of communications for the fire department, said the city was dealing with a developing mass casualty incident. A large portion of the Francis Scott Key Bridge is now underwater, as flight tracking website Flight Radar 24 showed the Maryland State Police circling the site of the crash in a helicopter. Mr. Cartwright added that a multi agency rescue is currently underway, with dive team members actively going into the river to try and locate individuals that are feared to be in the water. The U.S. Coast Guard said it has deployed small boats and boats and helicopters to assist in the search for the people feared within the water. Yet freezing conditions are posing a concern as the rescue personnel continue to carry out their search, it feels like at least about 30 degrees minus 1 degree Celsius where I am, Mr. Cartwright told CNN. It could be slightly lower than that. And I'm sure that the water temperature is even colder. And that can pose a concern and risk for our divers. The container ship involved is a Singapore-flagged vessel named Dali, live maritime data showed on Tuesday. It had just departed the port in Baltimore and was headed for the Sri Lankan capital Colombo, where it was due to arrive in late April. All crew members, including two pilots, on the container ship are accounted for and uninjured, the owners have confirmed in a statement. Officials said that there is no indication that terrorism could have been involved in the incident. There is absolutely no indication that there's any terrorism, that this was done on purpose, Chief Richard Worley said. President Joe Biden reassured Americans that all sign point toward the collapse being a terrible accident and that no terrorism was involved. Mr. Biden vowed to use federal funds to rebuild the bridge. The president promised to move heaven and earth to reopen the bridge, which more than 30,000 vehicles crosses every day.
He called it one of the most important elements of the economy and quality of life in the Northeast Corridor. He added that 15,000 jobs depend on that port, which 850,000 vehicles go through every year. United States Secretary of Transportation Pete Buttigieg said on X that he has spoken with Mayor Scott and Governor Moore to offer the Department of Transportation support following the collapse of the bridge. He added that rescue efforts remain underway. The Independent is the world's most free-thinking news brand, providing global news, commentary and analysis for the independently-minded. We have grown a huge, global readership of independently-minded individuals who value our trusted voice and commitment to positive change. Our mission, making change happen, has never been as important as it is today.